Okay, are we back? How is the bitrate <sighs> uploads lag frames? Um internet words, networking, ethernet, um spoof spoofing the uh, um other internet words. I don't know. I don't know internet words. I should know internet words. Latency. Um, broadband. Broadband. High speed Wi Fi. Wi Fi. Java tie. Stop. Stop increasing percentage of dropped frames. We're at 7.2 percent going back down. That's good. I have I have little um little bitty like network stats at the bottom of my screen that don't tell me a lot, but it tells me like what percentage of frames I have dropped, and it has a little square <laughs> that is green or red or yellow sometimes, but it's very rarely yellow. It's either green or red, uh, which is good or bad. And right now it's green. And it's staying green. It hasn't turned, it hasn't turned not green yet. I think we might be good. We might be good. So that would be good if we were good because, um, bah. Okay, all right, back to the game. Except I did close that game. So I'm trying to decide if I want to play a different game just because, I don't know. I don't want to go back and redo the fight again. It's annoying. Mm -hmm. Bum -bum 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 -bum. Bum -bum. Yeah, dock that. Okay, that's good. I don't need that to be open all the time. And you give me this one too. Excellent. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna change what game I'm playing. Um Yeah, I'm back. I'm back again. I think my stats are good. And I'm going to play a different game, um, because I feel like it, and you can't stop me, and you're not the boss of me, and I started playing this earlier, and I kind of want to keep playing it, so, uh, we're going to switch over to Vampire Survivors. Survivor? I don't know. It's a indie game that is the new, the new sensation that's sweeping the nation, as the kids say. I think kids say that. Do kids say that? Sure. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Um, I downloaded it earlier, and I liked it, and I kind of want to keep playing it, so we're going to do that. Um, yeah, I do say vampires. It's fighting vampires. Although one of the unlockable characters does appear to be your Alucard type, so. Why am I at an angle all the time? How do I stop being at an angle for, like, a minute? Whatever. I'm not going to change my s title, though. My title is going to stay. I have low stats now on the screen. Um. All right. And. Ah! And then I punch my microphone because I'm super duper good at uh, video games and stuff. And then if I click this button, I think, I think I can fuck with it without you seeing. Maybe. Unless you are seeing it right now, in which case, I feel very silly. But I think we're, I think we're good. What happens if I, the button? No, it's not visible. Fuck. Oh well, close to your mode. Um. Also, the button is this one. Nope, this one. Yes, that's the button for putting me back in the right place. It is not the button for uh. Uh, ah! Oh, that's too big. Covers my chat box. Can't have that. See you. Alright, so this is Vampire Survivors. It is a new indie game where, essentially, I started playing it just a little bit earlier today, like I said. Um, but basically, it is a game where what I have to do is survive against vampires. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Um, 
Actually, there's really not more. It's actually, it's interesting because the only mechanic appears to be moving around. Are the vampires gay? Sure. So, I'm just going to start playing because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I am going to use my controller, though, because I've got a joystick and that is better for this. Um, let's be Antonio. All right. And let me know if the audio is not good or anything. Um, in fact, I should look at that myself, but I can't see it because of the... So, here's the deal. I'm not attacking. That's happening automatically. Just every second or so, whip attack happens. And I just attack in the direction I'm facing. And that's it. That's all I can do. All I can do is walk around. Cha. But, when I get a little gem, I level up. And when I level up, I can pick new stuff. Um, I'm gonna pick the King Bible, because that's helpful. So now... In addition to the whip that goes every second or so, every few seconds, someone will get a Bible. And it's gonna circle around me. And this will ramp up exponentially. You'll see. Right now, there's, you know, a few bats and they go down in one hit. And I'm just sort of doing this. Very simple. But don't worry, it gets, it gets. Ow, I got hit by a bat. Fuck. I was lazy. Lazy? Sloppy. The word sloppy. Alright, so now I can do... I'm gonna do this one, because this lets the whip go front and back, which is helpful because now I don't have to be facing the enemy to hit them. So I can be walking away from somebody. Assuming, of course, I'm still on the horizontal. Um, you may have seen a blue bat over there. That guy has... Yes, of course I'm killing the vampires. Most video games involving vampires do have you killing them, I'm sorry. Sorry to be the one to tell you this. Why? I don't know. You have literally the same amount of the story that I do. Um, Pichon, I don't know what you do. So I'm just going to go with the higher damage. Because even though everything goes down one slot shot now, it won't be long before that stops going. But it's basically a survive as long as you can game, I think. I know you want to smooch vampires, honey. You wouldn't want to smooch vampires if other people didn't sometimes want to kill them. Right? Like, if vampires didn't have something about them that made them terrifying and, and horrible, you wouldn't want to kill them. You know that. You know that. Um, magic wand's good. Then I have a magic wand that will fire up my closest enemy. Every half second. Lots of bats. Oh god, the swarm. Don't have anything to really super effectively handle the swarm yet. I do want to get them level up gems. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't know why I call them level up gems when the word experience is like right there. And in fact, a common video game term. You know, experience? The thing video games have? Level up points, yeah, of course. Um, ooh. I haven't done knife before, honestly. You assemble that mark. I know you do, bitch. Do knife. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Knife can go at an angle. Ugh. So the good news is these don't um despawn, or if they do, it seems to take them a long time. So I can sort of lead the swarm around. And then, when they're all gone away from it, I can go back and collect... Whee! A whole pile of experience gems. Oh god, the swarm. And if I get that blue bat, um, he'll have a... Ooh, yes! Two Bibles, please. He'll have a, uh, treasure chest, and sometimes those give me good shit. Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do. Ah, damn it. I'm trying to get close enough to the blue bat to target him. However... I am getting swarmed by skeletons, so I shouldn't do that. God, I'm fucking dying. I'm doing a really bad job. I swear I was doing better earlier today. Um, but yeah, I literally played the game for like 20 minutes, so it's not like I'm an expert. Obviously, I'm still learning shit. I have not unlocked all the- <laughs> I have not even unlocked the, like, 
for basic characters that aren't hidden unlocks yet, because you have to pay coins, and I have not gotten enough coins to unlock the fourth one. Whose name I don't remember. Um, hmm, two projectiles, or do I want to start getting axes? Two projectiles sounds good, actually. Hey, Blue Bat. Die, please. Damn it, it didn't drop a chest! Fuck. Where's my chest, bitch? Ooh, a snack. I want that. Uh, gotta get in there. Fuck, there's too many ghosts. Ghosts, please. I need my snack. Ooh, chicken! Oh, thank god. Okay. You don't get a lot of health items, is something I've noticed so far. So far, something I've been lacking? Health items. Alright. Ah, sweet armor. Ooh, but bracer's so good. <sighs> bracer. What do you mean you don't believe me? That I've, that I've only played this for like 20 minutes? Or that health items are good? I don't remember what I said that has caused this disbelief. But, you know, I've never lied to anybody in my entire life, so... I don't know what lying is, actually. I'm like those dudes from, from Galaxy Quest. Oh my god, I have moved faster! Ah, but reducing cooldowns is so good. No, I gotta have moved faster, he's so fucking slow. <laughs> it is hell. It is hell to me how slow this character is. All the characters are this slow. It's not like, it's not like this is the slow guy or anything, but oh god. Agony. Far more painful than yours. Vampire, vampires, 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 vampires. Vampires. Giant mantis. Evil plants, sis. Ooh, money. Give me the money bag, thank you. Kinda looks like a bucket of chicken, is what I think every time I see that money bag, to be honest. Like a bucket of KFC chicken. Die! See, they're starting to no longer go down in just one hit. Which is why, um... Excuse me, I need to start getting those damage boosts instead of just, like, projectile increases and speed increases and shit. But it's hard to turn those down. A little delayed again? Ah. Uh, Eh, it's only dropping 30 of my frames. I think I'm fine. Money! Unless you just mean delay in terms of, like, how long it takes for your chat to get to me. In which case... Yeah, well. Eat it up. Eat it up? That's not... One sucks it up. Or one eats my ass. But one does not generally eat it up. Unless, of course, it is Reese's Buffs. Reese's Buffs. Kill the mantis! Yes! Chest! Alright. What do I get? Is it gonna level up? No, it's just gonna be a basic level chest? Okay, that's fine. I got a level of knife. Which... One more projectile. That's pretty good. Some of the chests will have, like... I've gotten... I got... Like, my first chest was a... I guess whatever the level 2 version of the chest is. So it gave me, like, three bonuses. And then I've gotten ones that gave me five bonuses. So now every time I get a one bonus one, I'm just like, oh man, fuck you. Oh, do, 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 do. oh god, the swarm. I love how they push zombies and shit. <laughs> it's very funny to me. All right, we're gonna go for reduce cooldown on this one. Thank you. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oof. Yeah, I do not have an effective way to deal with that many bats at, at once yet. But I'm getting there. My rate of projectiles right now. I'm almost always got something. Um, I'd love to get that blue bat. I'm sure he's gonna give me a chest. I'm positive. I'm, I'm positive thinking. I'm putting it out there. I'm just secreting that that bat's gonna give me a blue chest. A blue chest? A chest. I don't care what color. But a chest nonetheless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, don't don't kill me. Don't kill me. 
Don't kill me, let me get some experience gems. Yes! Oh, empty tomb! Oh, that's so good. Now I gotta do empty tomb. Tome! Why do I, I do that a lot, honestly? I don't even know why. It's just one of those words that's definitely, like, I know it's not the right word. I know that tome is a different word from tomb. But I just fuck it up anyway. Come on, blue bat. Come on, blue bat. Fucking die. 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 Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Oh, it died and it didn't give me a chest. Fuck you, blue bat. Alright. I'm gonna start walking because... I do know there are... There's more than one level to this game. I don't know how to get to another level. Um, I have a feeling... Mmm, base damage up would be good. I'm, I'm not... Sweeping bitches as much as I wish I was. Um, I expect that, you know, if I wander around the map, I'll probably get to a place. It's probably not all me circling one part of the map until I die. Maybe it is, I don't know. I will say, this is about as far as I got before uh, in terms of time alive when we started getting the bigger bats. So, I don't know how much longer I have in me. I guess we'll find out. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! <laughs> it's very funny how the swarm pushes other creatures, but also, I don't like it because then they push them at me, and it's like, um, actually, could you not? Hi, excuse me, hi, oh god. Like, it's bad enough that they're throwing bats at me. They don't need to throw bigger bats at me on their way to me, you know? These are the bats. They're attacking with other bigger bats. Thanks, bro. Love it. Oh, we got another one of these things. I'm pretty sure these are, like, one collective monster. The circle. Because I can't figure out otherwise why it's gone away before. You know? Like, I thought, okay, well, I have to, I have to kill enough of them that I have make an opening for myself, but, um... Like, that didn't happen. But I think I have to kill all of them. And by which I mean they have one collective health point, and I'm about to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, big mantis. No, please. No, please. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. Ugh. I lived for a long time, though. Ooh, I've unlocked the lightning ring. And garlic! I found five floor chickens! That's, that's funny, I didn't realize they were called floor chickens. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. So now we can use this, these coins we have to unlock some bitches. Uh, we can't unlock Arca LaDonna yet, but that's that. Like, look at the silhouette. That's a vampire. Um, I don't have enough coins to unlock Gennaro either. God damn it. I could look for more coins than that. I know I did. What the fuck? Where'd all my coins go? Uh, only 380 coins. Get more coins. Honestly, that does make sense to get early on, I guess. Mm. Okay. Let me readjust my stance a little bit. Because I'm sitting on my butt and it hurt. It hurt my butt. Um. Oh yeah, it's got a little information on different bitches here. And then... Here it does tell me, so I can see, you know, reach 20 in the Mad Forest, reach 40 in the inlay library, reach 60 in the dairy plant, which I am terrified of. That sounds bad. Um, Pugnola and... I like these guns. I want these guns. So I guess these are all the characters. So I have 20 minutes. Oh, God. Cool, we... Um... So yeah, I'm going to unlock more shit as I go along. For example, once I cover, recover 1,000 HP, I'll unlock this bitch. And once I earn 5,000 coins in one, whatever. And find things to unlock other things. Oh, there's coffins. Ooh, I gotta find the coffins. Alright. Enough reading through. Back to surviving. This time I'm gonna pick... Pasqualina, because projectiles get 10% faster every 5 levels. That's- I like that. 
I like that. So the problem is, the downside to Pascalina, oh god damn it, I should not have gotten hit that early, is that I cannot aim her starting thing in any way whatsoever. It is a completely random, just blast off. Um, Rune Tracer? Rune Tracer is what it's called. So I cannot aim at a bat. I just have to kind of hope that there's a bat in whatever direction she's shooting at. That being said, once I can get something... Like, she could pick up a whip. Or level up into a whip. Um. Mmm. Or a knife. Or just increase the... I'm just gonna increase the retracer, actually. <laughs> um. Because now, it'll be a little faster. And I'm still early enough where the issue of not actually being able to aim at bats is not too bad. Because, like, I can just circle the bats. Wee! Ow. But there are there are power-ups that you can buy um, in the menu, which I was going into before. Um, and if you buy those power-ups, they apply to everybody. So I bought greed, which means I get more coins. I think. Which is good, because that's what you use to buy power-ups. So that's why I thought, that's probably a good one to unlock relatively early. Um, because it'll help with unlocking other things faster. Don't. Don't touch me. No, thank you. Alright, I need something else. Oh, uh, let's do the axe. I haven't done axe yet. So I also can't aim the axe, but, um, it does this. And I like it. I can somewhat aim it. It arcs up and then goes down. So if I'm above things, I'm more likely to hit them with the axe, like so. Like, I just hit that blue bat. And I can pretend it was on purpose. Because it was, like, not not on purpose, you know? Ow. I got hit again. Ow! Fuck, stop it! Ooh, money! Money, please! Alright, blue bat, give me a chest this time. Oh god, the swarm. Ooh, can I get the axe of the swarm? No, damn it. That's okay. <laughs> um, oh shit, more experience. Yes, I'll take that. More experience means more levels, means more stuff. Oh god, bats, 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 bats. Ow, ow, stop it! I got surrounded by bats. That was bad, I am dying. <laughs> oh man, I am two minutes in and I am very low on health already. Ooh, let's do... Level 2 axe. Out of those options. Yes, two axes. Double the axes, double the fun. The statement of the great mint and throwing axes at bats. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. More XP. Ooh, what's that? Oh, time has stopped. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, how long do I have? Probably not long. Ah, oh, it wasn't very long, but it was. Beautiful while it lasted, huh, kid? Hell yeah. Get that blue bat. Get the blue one. Oh, you missed. That's fine. Try again. But yeah, quote-unquote powerful enemies will drop the uh, chests, which... Ooh! Damage is nearby enemies. I don't know if I care about resistance to knockback and freeze yet. I don't know if that's been a problem for me yet, but... Oh, it hurts enemies that are too close to me? Oh, I like that. Oh, is it just constant? It doesn't, like, start and stop? Oh, yes. Garlic, my new friend. Oh, da -da -da, don't, don't kill me. No, please don't kill me. I mean, I know you want to kill me, but please don't. Like, I know that's, like, literally your entire thing. Like, you are, uh, undead monsters who've been revived to do exactly one thing at the bidding of your Dark Masters, but, um, could you not? <gasps> floor chicken! Floor chicken. God, I love that, that it's called floor chicken. <laughs> Thank you for making that decision, whoever did that, on the Vampire Survivor scheme. Oh, God. Bats. Oh, look at those gems. Oh, I'm gonna die. That was a mistake. Ugh, oof, oof. Lightning wing or 
Fuck it, lightning ring. Hee! <laughs> Still haven't killed that fucking bat. <laughs> Oh my god, I left so many gems up here. Oh my god. Oh, I'm bathing in it. I'll do wings this time. So that I stop moving at a glacial plate pace. You know how that thrills me. I like how all the bats are gone except the blue one. She's like, are you gonna kill me or what? He's like, buddy, I'm trying. Oh my god, they're everywhere! So much XP! Ooh, alright, we're gonna go with wings level 2. Because I'm still taking out most things in, like, a hit. But I am definitely getting up to the point where I'm gonna need to start doing damage boosts. Oh, sweet! Chest! Gimme, 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 gimme! Alright, be good, be good, be good, be something good. Be really good. Do the thing where you do more. No? Okay, that's fine. What the fuck is that? Is that lightning ring? I guess that's lightning ring? Hey! Alright, extra projectiles. Can't be, can't be mad at that. Um, ooh, area by 40%. Hell yes. Oh, that is far enough that I might actually not have to die to get things hit by it. That's pretty good. Oh, don't kill me! Ah, ah! No! Oh, shit! Oh, I'm very close to death. Do wish I was less close to death. Um, would love to find some more floor chicken right now. If anybody happen to drop any. I will eat chicken off the floor. Just like Russian baby doll. Fucked up that. That's not the title of the show. Well, I couldn't remember the character's name. All I can think of was Natasha. That's not her name. I think it's the actress's name, right? Hmm. Alright, we're gonna go with Green Tracer. Because leveling up shit is good. Um. It kind of seems to get to a point where... I mean, again, I haven't lasted longer than 10 minutes yet, but... Um. It kind of gets to a point, I think, where... Leveling up the shit you have is gonna be more important than getting more shit. That being said, I think I can have up to six things active, alive, based on just in the corner there, there's a little six block thing that I think I'm filling up with items as I collect them, so. Oh, probably doesn't do a lot of damage, huh? Oof, okay, that's fine. I wish it did more, but that's okay, that's fine. I'm fine. Can I have some floor chicken? Please and thank you. Ooh, 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 a chest! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! Please, don't kill me, I have a chest to get! Be good, be good, be good, be good. Give me something good. Come on. Do the thing. No, just one? That's fine, I'll take another one. 93 coins and a lightning ring. Excellent, thank you. Base damage, base area up by 100%, base damage up by 10. Pretty fucking good, I think. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh shit. Oh, that was frightening. Ah! I think garlic is enough to protect me from the swarm! Oh my god, it is. Oh. oh. Jesus Christ. Still fucking terrifying, but. Marginally less so, now that I know that the garlic will get some of them. I will absolutely take an increase to axe damage, thank you. Like, I still can't get the blue alphabets, but some of these bitches I can just run into and kill. And that, that is satisfying to know. Because it makes me much less scared of when mobs of those bitches come at me. I'm going in circles, going in circles, going in circles to collect all the gems. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Can I have some floor chicken? 
It almost rhymed with gem. Plant rhymes are valid. Sometimes. Don't at me. Or do. I don't care. You can at me if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Your friends don't at, and if they don't- Oh god. Foo foo foo! Ah! The swarm! Okay. <sighs> do I want to go faster? Or do I want to get the Bible? Or a knife? The knife would let me finally- I don't have anything I can aim still. Um. <clears throat> Shit, what do I get? I want to go faster! I'd like to be faster. I would very much like being faster to be a thing that is uh, an option for me. Oh god! Oh no. Oh fuck, wait, okay. Oh, nope, I fucked up! I fucked up! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Thought I was gonna die. Did not. That was very close though. Can I please have some floor chicken? Please, for the love of god, somebody drop a chicken on the floor. Damn it! I thought that number was a floor chicken. Because <laughs> there's red and I was like, aha! Nope. No floor chicken. Alright, let's just- Oh, god damn it! Oh. Fuck. Find an orologian. What the fuck's an orologian? Uh, is it a- is it one of the items I picked up? I don't think so. Oh, wait, it is. Ah, freeze all enemies for 10 seconds. Cool. <sighs> 278. I know I got more coins than that. Come on. Come on. Give me more coins. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Let's do... Uh, I don't know. Let's do Imelda because we didn't do her yet. Or them. I cannot. I don't think I could accurately gender this thing. Look at it. Hey, Spazzy! Thanks for lurking! Good luck with the Dead by Daylight grinding. That sounds fun? I don't know, I never actually- I played it like a little bit, but not enough to actually play it, you know? Um, I think that was- That was probably when I had internet that wasn't super viable for playing online, because we couldn't figure out a good way to get faster internet. And then... I don't know, it's like a whole thing now. So. It is interesting me, to me to learn about the meta of Dead by Daylight and how it's just completely and utterly fried the original concept. Ooh, a chance to freeze enemies in time. That actually kind of sounds like it sucks, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> uh, I don't want that, actually. No, I don't think so. I'd rather just hurt things. In this time. Aw, thank you for the little heart. I'm playing Vampire Survivors. Ba 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 ba. Maybe I should be moving around more. I'm just I'm too attached to my method of um circling. Kill a bunch of fuckers. Circle to get them away from the XP gems, go back and collect them. If I did, it would be good if it weren't for the people playing it. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. <laughs> Hi, Tilly. I don't know if your little meow just now got caught by the uh, microphone or not. It was very cute, though. I wish it did. At least you gave me a red gem. Um, I should take the laurel. I never have. Feels like it could be helpful. Oh wait, that actually can be helpful if it shields from damage because like, if I get stuck, it gives me a chance to run for it without dying. Swarm! Haha! Cast yourselves upon my garlic, you fools! Oh, that's satisfying. Uh... Empty dumb. Kill, kill! <laughs> Stupid bats. You are weak. I have garlic. I am strong. 
Don't don't let that vampire touch me. That that zombie touch me though. Hmm. I'll take that. I'll take a slower lower cooldown, longer duration. Burp. This music is pretty good. Um which is hard when you're playing a song that you know people are gonna be listening to on loop for or when you're writing a song that people are gonna be listening to on loop for 20, 20 minutes or so. If they're lucky. Alright, we're tanking up this time around. I got the armor. I got the laurels. I got the horses in the back. And I will not apologize. Oh my god, it's so satisfying to bat murder by walking into them though. Oh, I'm having so much fun with that. <laughs> Relic really hurts you. Are you a vampire? You wish. I know you wish you were a vampire, honey. But I think it takes a little more than uh, garlic hurting you. Mm. Yeah, sure. It's little laurels again. Why not? Tank that motherfucker. I will be a tanky motherfucker. My name is Imelda, and I am a tanky motherfucker. Someday I'm gonna do an accent, and it's gonna be good. Um, and you're all gonna be just astounded. You're gonna be like, oh my god. Your accent is so amazing. Are you actually from... Place? And I will astound you by saying no. I'll be like, no, actually, it's just an accent I did. And you'll be like, oh, but it's so realistic. And I'll be like, yes, well, that is because I am a tanky motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be a French accent that is the accent that causes this statement, apparently. But, you know. Um, yeah, tanky motherfucker. Continue Operation Tanky motherfucker. Ah, oh, treasure. All right. Do something good. Ooh! This is a better one. Here it has three little streamy things instead of one. I'm also gonna take an opportunity while this is loading to move my leg because it's so fucking asleep. Oh god. Ugh. Two levels of fire wand and a level of butt. <laughs> Get it? It's because the garlic looks like a butt. It does. It looks like a butt. Ah! <laughs> Sucker! Ugh. Thank you, motherfucker. Mmm, tasty. Um, yeah, I'll take more garlic. Thank you. Garlic gets a cooldown. I'm not gonna lie. I straight up have not noticed it having a cooldown. I feel so strong. I feel so brave and powerful. Nothing can touch me. I've. I've gone into the vampire game, and I've made the very wise choice to use garlic in my vampire game. Turns out this was a good decision. Oh, Tilly is awake. She's going to murder me, I'm sure. Please sit back down and be a good girl. Hmm? I just need to- I only need one hand to dodge vampire monsters. Most of which, I don't think I've seen an actual vampire yet. Um, but I've seen the ghosts and the zombies and the giant praying mantis. And whatever these fucking plants are. The Audrey's. Okay, so they just dissolve after a certain amount of time. They don't- they just don't close in all the way on me. So I can just stay in the middle. Wow, I got hurt a lot at some point. When the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Ooh, it's another good one! Let's see, let's see, let's see! Tilly time! Yes, Tilly's awake. Luckily, I can play this game with one hand, because all I do is move around. So I can spare a hand to just pet her, and hopefully she doesn't murder me. So we got a level of, of magic wand, level of fire wand, and a level of bracers. Bracers! Speed bracer! Go speed bracer! It's not a funny joke, I'm sorry. What do 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 Oh, she lay back down. Oh, she's a good girl. She's not gonna do murder to me. No. Alright. Let's do... Whatever. Let's fucking pick the clock lancet. Fine. 
My cock lands it. Haha, <laughs> got him. Oh shit, those fuckers got frozen in time. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, I'm gonna start walking. I'm gonna go on a little- wait. Kill the swarm! Haha. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go on a little journey. Because I've still not explored very far in this game, and I feel like maybe I should be doing more exploring. Which I know is hard, because I want to kill things instead. Because I want to get their delicious, delicious XP get gems. But, like, I don't know. There's probably shit around on the map to find. Right? I think. Oh my god. Kill, kill, kill! Oh god, run! Mmm, garlic, good. I like garlic. Me and garlic? Buddies. Me and garlic are besties! Ooh, money! Money, 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 money. Ooh! I don't know what that is, but I want it! What the fuck? Did I just get, like, super magnet? Oh, very good, thank you. Let's do Clock Lancet, why not? Come at me, Swarm! Oh god, they're pushing other things into me. Stop coming at me, Swarm. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh god. Ah! No! I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I'm not fine. I'm fine! I'm fine? I'm fine. Everything is normal. Nothing is horrifying. Good lord. Oh fuck. Oh jeez. Oh my god. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, I see. The garlic has a cooldown on, like, a specific... Oh, <laughs> I have so many <laughs> fucking ghouls behind me. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh, I want that treasure chest very badly. Ugh. Oh, how do I get it? <sighs> fuck it. Ugh. Oh. I'm gonna fucking die. This better be good. This better be fucking worth it. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Oh, it's not gonna be worth it, is it? Oh, it's a garlic butt! Alright, well, thank you for the butt. That might help me survive. Very bad decision I made to come get this. Go to chest. Hey, I'm alive! Oh. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna... Good lord. We're gonna walk away from what I've done here. What just happened?! Fuck! I got stuck on something! What happened?! Aw, why did that thing kill me? What happened? Now I'm sad. I was doing good. I don't know if I was doing good. But I was doing something. Ooh, 600. <gasps> this means I can unlock Gennaro or Arca, who is a vampire. This is clearly an Alucard type. Look at him. We're going to play as him. Ooh, he comes with a fire wand. That's fun. Fire wand uh, fires in a random direction, but what it is firing is a fireball. So, you know, it's pretty good. Ooh. Actually, it doesn't go in a random direction. It goes at a random enemy. So it is aiming at enemies as opposed to... Oh my god, sorry, I just looked down. My cat's very cute. Um, as opposed to the rune tracer, uh, which shoots in a random direction. Um... Let's do lightning ring. That sounds like fun. Personally. <laughs> Just zaps a couple bats in the distance. Pretty good. Hi, honey. She has... She's looking up at me. She has her head on my leg, and she has her, her paw on the back of my hand. Fighting vampires with vampires. I mean, yeah. Again, that's what most, most video games are. Like... By volume. Oh, she's getting up. She's gonna kill me now. Hold on one second, everybody. I'm gonna give Chili a bribe. Oh, fuck! <laughs> the game did not keep pausing. <laughs> uh. Here you go, honey. Oh, we're almost out of these streets. Gotta figure out where that bag we ordered is. I know I gave it to... the new cat, but I don't think she ate it. Gotta see if I can get that for you. Love you, fucking Yeah, you do. You do, don't you? Oh, you dropped it, you dumb idiot. You stupid idiot, baby. You moron. Ah, she's a fool. She has dropped her treats. We had to put these treats in a little jar because she fucking 
clawed through the bag. Because she's like this. Um, um. Alright, see if I can resume. Um, can I feed Tilly with one hand while I play this with the other hand? That's a good question. Oh, I picked the water. That's good, I guess. I certainly don't mind the water. Ah! I'm dying. Um, yes, there's a new cat. Her name is, is, is Siberia, and she is hiding. That's- I've seen her, like, once <laughs> since she arrived. She will not be my cat permanently. Um, she is going to move out in a little bit. Yes. Um, but she is very shy. <clears throat> she has picked out a spot in the cargo hold where we cannot reach her. <laughs> and she just likes to hang out there most of the time. She does appear to be coming out to use the litter box. Um, which also means she must be coming out to eat and drink. So... I am hoping that Tilly will eventually, um, like, approach her. Because she'll be like, so, other cat. What's up? The oh, fuck are your pictures of this new cat? Again, like I've said, I've literally seen her once. I haven't been able- ooh, a tractor, that's nice. Um, I haven't been able to take pictures of the cat. I'll try and send you what I do have, but, um, she's a tabby. And it's funny that she's much bigger than Tilly. I forget how small Tilly is until I'm presented with a non-Tilly cat. And then I realized that Tilly is, in fact, a small cat. Like, I picked her up because... Why did I get to pick her up? I don't remember. I picked up a new cat, and, um, I died. And I was just like, oh god, you're very heavy, aren't you? I think that was when she was in our room. She, the first night, snuck into our room. Not snuck, but she was in our closet. And Tilly found her. <laughs> and that was our, um... Hi! That was how they met. They did not make contact. But Tilly, like, just got up at, like, 4am and had a very big tail. I was just like, uh, you're a tabby too! dun dun dun, -dun. That's not... That's not the right sound. Dun 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 dun! That's a better noise. Um, but yeah, she's very shy. And the guy we got her from- Excuse me for one second. Um, the guy we got her from basically said that she's, like, always been hiding. So, it's not surprising. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, no, wait, that's not the button. Fuck. That's the button. Hi, Tilly. You're so cute. I love you. Um, fire's at nearest enemies, but what the fuck is that? Alright, so I'm about the cat. So, um, apparently she just always hid from him, too. We actually, we had to pick her up from somebody who lives on a different boat here. Um, because he's not gonna be able to keep her anymore for reasons that aren't fun, so I'm not gonna burn it. But, um, we had, like... For like a week, he was like, alright, I'll bring you the cat. And he kept being like, I can't get the cat. And it's like, okay, I mean, how can you not get the cat? And then we made, went over to get the cat ourselves. Um, and the cat was so hard to get. She would, she wouldn't come out. She just hid so effectively. And was impossible to reach. It was, it was absurd. Like, I'm like, okay, how hard can it be to find a cat on a boat? Surprisingly, actually. Um... So she has picked a spot in our cargo hold behind a water tank. I don't know which tank is which off the top of my head. But it's either fresh water or the opposite of fresh water. Um, and she... Just, like, you could crawl down here, there and see the very edge of her butt. And that's about it. Um, earlier today, Tilly went and sat, like, just inside the opening to the cargo hold, and it was very cute. Chaz or chaz. Um, like, very tentatively was like, this. so obviously Tilly knows she's down there. Um, but did not want to intrude, which Tilly, I would love it if you would intrude a little more, actually. Please go chase her out. Um, let's do Peach on. I haven't done that yet. Um, so yeah, but 
She's not she's not my cat. She's a cat that's in my house. Who will be moving out soonish. Um so I've been trying not to be like, this is my cat and things must be done the way I care about this cat. But hard. She's very shy. Um, she's been here since Wednesday, so five days? I think? And we're very concerned that she wasn't eating, but I believe she is. She's just not leaving her hiding space when people can see her. Except for, like, one time. We snuck up on her. Um, let's do... do the crown. I spread- I might be spreading myself a little bit thin in the early game here. Maybe I should be focusing. But then maybe the early game is the time to spread oneself thin. I don't know. I'm still- I- like, I played this game for literally an hour. I don't fucking know. I'm learning. And while I'm learning, I'm talking about things like a cat. But yeah, it's funny, because I definitely, like, expected it to be a thing where... You know, Tilly would be defensive of her territory against the new cat. The new cat is bigger and heavier than Tilly. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that actually... <laughs> I think that explains why Tilly has just been looking at the new cat from a distance. Water's good. Let's do water. Looking respect respectfully. <laughs> Uh, I want more cats. I should get another cat. Maybe once, once, once new cat and cat's owner have departed from my residence, we will replace the cat with another cat. Especially now that we know that Tilly will not, um, immediately try to murder another cat who shows up. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that! Ah, eh, oh well. I picked the wrong option, I have to live with my choices. Wee. Um. But yeah, I still- I feel like the process of acquiring a cat, especially an additional cat, not your first cat, the extra cats, should be something along the lines of a cat appears and now you have a cat. Like, like, Yes, I could go to a shelter and adopt a cat, or I could wait until fate bestows one upon me. And somebody I know has a cat who has kittens, or they trap one, or one wanders onto the dock unattended, or one just breaks into the house and then I just have an extra cat. My family's first cat was a found cat. Um, we did not find, but somebody else found, you know, kittens in their um, bush. So, ha <laughs> kittens in your bush. <sighs> um, and therefore we got one of them. And then my sister's cat was purchased from a pet store. And then my cat came from a shelter. Um, my mom's second and third cats are babies from astray. Yeah. Oh man, I've seen so many fucking kitten rescue videos on TikTok lately. <laughs> oh, I want a kitten. I want a little bitty kitty cat. I mean, I know there's all sorts of reasons not to get a little bitty kitty to get an adult cat instead. But like, also, I kind of want a little itty bitty kitty. You know? They're so cute and round and fluffy. But, yeah, I hope that Destiny will someday, soon, bestow a free cat upon me. Like, another one, because this free cat is not mine. Oh, get away from my treasure chest! I want it! I want it. Um, and I get to name our next cat. Because the girlfriend named this cat. Um, so I get the next one, and it's definitely gonna be something stupid. Like rice cake, or... Granola bar, or... Flaming Hot Cheetos. Um, Rip Your Float. Be a good cat name. 
Um. Detect Dick Gumshoe. No, I'm not gonna name a cat that. Unless. No, I'm not gonna name a cat that. That'd be too weird. Um. What else would be good cat names? Experience Gem. Shambling Ghoul. Lightning Ring. It is kitten season. I know! So the odds of a kitten just appearing are high! Ooh. Ooh, I should get the crown. Crown will get me other things faster. Um, I should keep an eye on like fucking next door or Craigslist or whatever to, for someone to be like free kittens. Rice cake is a cute cat name. It is a cute cat name. Possibly too cute. Maybe I should go with fruit fruit roll up or uh, chicken tikka masala. Mexican pizza, the cat. Chalupa! That'd be a good cat name. Were Chalupas invented by Taco Bell or am I thinking- No, I'm thinking of Gorditas. Right? I think? I think Gorditas are the ones that are not, like, a real thing. I mean, very little of what Taco Bell serves is real food, but... Like, Gorditas extra so. Oh god, fats! Mmm, I wish I had garlic. I miss garlic. Garlic was so good for the swarms. Ah! I'm fine. I am a vampire survivor. I will survive these vampires. Unless I die. God, I need some floor chicken. Please, won't somebody drop a chicken on the floor? Let me eat it. Let me consume its chickeny flesh. To restore my health. Alright. Ooh. I know I gotta go with more projectiles. I need I need I need I need more spread. You know, if these bitches aren't gonna be accurate, which they're not, I need more spread. Um could name the cat. Matala. Garlic is a cute cat name. Oh, that is a cute cat name, actually. I can imagine. That is a cute cat name. Garlic. I am Garlic. I'm a real cute cat. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Ooh! Oh wow, I'm very close to dead. I should be dead. <laughs> I suspect my HP is probably one. Ah, don't touch anything. Nobody touch me. Nobody touch me. Do not touch of me. I'm very soft. Ah! Oh, damn it. I got touched. So I died. Bleh. Alright, can I unlock any more power-ups? Can unlock increase of Mac health. Mac health. Uh, God, I want more move speed so bad. Can I unlock the first level of growth? No, that takes a lot. Hmm, only thing I can unlock right now would be max health, which I might as well do. Alright. Let's be... Let's be Pascalina again. Pascalina. She's a very annoying early game, but that's okay. I forgive her. Maybe. What was that? Hope it was a firework! And not a gunshot! Hard to tell! We live in America! Ooh, let's do... Let's do a knife. Can we have a cat a title, too? Oh yeah, so it's like Duchess Fruit Snack, or, you know... Vicomte de Gushers. I like Vicomte. Maybe because I get to say it, Vicomte. Which I don't know if that's like correct, but it's how the Phantom of the Opera says it, so. The Vicomte de Chagny. Rowl. I'm like, Rowl? <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said it. Rowl is not. He's so fucking milk toast. Of 
Boy, land is fuck. Kill that blue bat. Get a treasure chest. Oh god. Blue bat got too close. But yeah, the other option for good cat names is extremely long and elaborate um, and pretentious. Like Archduke Ferdinand uh, Maximilian de del Toro the third. Who I guess would be like an English noble, but also a Spanish noble? The Phantom Garlic of the Boat. Why is the Phantom- Oh, now you're giving me floor chicken. Fucking thanks. Right now when I'm at full health, bitch. Um, speaking of full health, why not increase my health? Let's do that instead. Um, see, when you say the Phantom Garlic, that just makes it feel like- Makes me think my boat would smell like garlic a lot, even though I hadn't cooked with garlic recently, and I'd just be like, ah! Bats! I'd just be like, why is this not like garlic in here? Let's do the whip. Literally, if I'd seen that floor chicken, I might have done the heart instead of the whip. Ah, oh, the whip. It's good to have an. Uh, it's good to have a weapon you can aim, actually. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Whip front and back. Oh ho! Now we're getting somewhere. The phantom garlic of the boat. The phantom garlic of the boat is here. It smells like Italian food, but we haven't had Italian. It smells, but we didn't have Italian. Listen, I know that it's a funny joke, but I'm fighting the urge to keep singing so hard right now. <laughs> Just launch into literally the entirety of Phantom of the Opera. Right now. Just, just keep going. I could just have more of it, you know? I could, I could, I could just sing more of it. Hold all your fine horses now. Raise up your hand to the level of your eyes. Nothing can save you now, except perhaps Christine. Start a new life with me. Buy his freedom with your love. Hi, Fado. I'm sorry, I was trying to resist it. Refuse me and you send your lover to his death. Might be grave. This is the point. This is the choice. This is the point of no return. Those tears I might have shed for your dark fate grew cold and turned to tears of hurt. And then I stopped singing. Successfully. Did not sing anymore. That was the end of my fan of the opera performance for the evening. I'm not gonna sing any more of it. <laughs> Raise your hand to the lower of your hand. <laughs> you fucked up. You fucked up. I like in the book where the Daroga is like... I think the Daroga is the one who tells him that. To, to, to like hold his his gun up like ready to fire and then Raul starts bitching about how heavy his gun is and the Daroga's like okay listen you don't actually have to hold the gun up I just need you to keep your hand up here so he doesn't throw a lasso over your head and kill you like a little bitch but Raul is an annoying little bitch who like fucking whines about it Cause the gun is heavy. Turn two tears of hey! Yeah, it's very good. Um, I think the Phantom is the first fictional dude that a certain type of girl likes. 
Yeah. That seems right. He's a, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a Beauty and the Beast story. Um, but the Beast is... Like, fucked up. Bad. But also tragic. But also, it's catchy. Apparently offers Fight Club for straight women. <laughs> Ugh. I used to get real emotional about uh, the Phantom's Redemption arc. I haven't even seen the fucking sequel, and I refuse to, because I know it undoes that. But I like, I read the book, and the book actually made me cry. It's really sad, okay? The message of Family Opera is. Um, hmm, that's a good question. What is the message of Phantom of the Opera? Let's see. It's not your responsibility to fix him. You're not about to tell me you like Raoul, are you? Ugh. No one liked Raoul. I don't think Christine even liked Raoul. Let's be real. Yes, exactly! Romance of his life, she forgives him and he heals! He gets to heal! And he- 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 he stops being a mur- well, he doesn't stop being a murderer, let's be real, he'll do murder, but, like, his- his- his life has sucked, and we all acknowledge that your life sucked, Eric. We get it. No one here is saying, like, your life was so good, why are you being evil? Everyone's like, okay, listen. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up the life you've lived. Um... But that doesn't mean you have to build a room of mirrors where you trap people until they die of dehydration and or going just fucking nuts, all right? I will not watch Love Never Dies. He's so romantic, ew. Corny ass bitch is what he is. I will. Maybe, maybe. Soggy bread. <laughs> He's a soft candy for children. <laughs> and Christine has daddy issues. And her father's ghost is there to fuck her. And they don't really. In the musical, at least. Don't really go into the fact that they like bring it up and they don't like go into it. Then it's like you, I, you guys realize what you're saying, right? All I ask of you is wonderful. I think I just part of me just hates Raul extra because you know the Phantom. He makes Phantom sad. He make the Phantom sad. But I I do hold his whining about the gun being heavy against him. I very clearly remember that. I miss the character of the Daroga. I wish the Daroga had made it into the musical, um, but I did love the Daroga being like, God, shut up! You don't have to hold your gun up if it's heavy, fucking whiny-ass little motherfucker. Bitch. We got an extra chest. Ooh, two spinach! I'm going to be so strong. I don't know. All I ask of you is just- it's a very smooshy, uh, love song. Very, very swoop. What's the word I'm looking for here? Schmooshy is not the word. Swoosh. What is the word I'm Schmoopy! I think schmoopy is the word I wanted here. To describe all I ask of you as a love song. You just can't accept a normal man. Why should we have to, huh? Why should we? I love this fucking fan of the offer of fangirl ship war that's starting in my chat as we play Vampire Survivors. This, this is the good shit. Raul is a nice guy. No, okay, hang on. Raul is a nice guy, like a real nice guy. He's generally nice. Um, he is a little bit entitled uh, because he's rich and 
some level of he's a vicomte. I don't know what the fuck a vicomte does, but um, he kind yeah kind of listens to Christine. Still, I think thinks she's like just crazy, but at least is like okay, honey. If you don't, you know what? It's fine. I know you have this weird thing you made up about a phantom, but I will I will humor you on it. Um, is where I was at. Small C, thank you. That is the word I was looking for. It's not close enough. Um Prince doesn't mean boring? What? Not perfect this fine kind of uh you kill lots of his sword. He doesn't use his sword! For anything! He gets his ass whooped! He literally only survives because he is released by the Phantom. He does not- he does not defeat the Phantom. He loses. Christine defeats the Phantom. But like, with love. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ha! Oh fucking hell. Oh no. Oh god. Wait, hold on. Oh, uh, too much phantom discourse. Uh, distracting me from giant mantises. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! Oh, no! No! I need the I need the plants to go away, please. I <laughs> would throw a tantrum if he didn't win in the end. I don't know if he would. I think he would- I think Raul would be the kind of guy who would, like, gracefully bow out. And then later, like, at home, get drunk on Sherry and cry about it. I'm gonna die. They're so close! Please go further away from me! Oh, thank god. What does that do? Oh my god, no, do you see how many skeletons there are? Holy shit. He's a little pathetic and I find that sexy! Alright, you know what? Point, point to Fado on that. Oh, I'm my little, I'm rich and boring and generically handsome. I could be played by Henry Cavill. I have no personality. I don't remember who played Raul in the movie. I would like to- I have a safe choice your dad would like! Uh, maybe not Christine's dad, because Christine's dad was, um... Well, I mentioned- I mentioned, uh... The Daddy Issues. There you go, Family Opera 2004 film. Uh, who the fuck played Raul? Gerard Butler was a fan, I remember that being fucking- Patrick Wilson? Who the fuck is Patrick Wilson? Have you been to anything else, my friend? Uh, oh, you're, like, actually a Broadway dude. I mean, that's good. Um. You have a very big forehead. <laughs> and so many phantom feelings. Phantom stays with you forever, yeah. That sounds about right. Um. Why are you fucking R.I.P. me? I'm, I'm, I left on purpose. Was he the guy in Hard Candy? Holy shit, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! Oh, this changes everything! Oh my god, this changes everything. The guy who played Raul in the 2004 Phantom movie is the guy who played the fucking pedophile in Hard Candy. Wow! Holy shit! Oh, the implications! Like, I know it doesn't actually mean anything, but also, it means everything. It means everything. Oh, I love it. I'm- I'm... Delighted. I'm so happy I learned this. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, Hard Candy was the one where Elliot Page, uh, possibly his first role, or it was a very early role for Elliot Page, uh, played a young girl who lured a- like, it was online and got lured to a child muster's house, but she was actually luring him, and then she basically just tortures him. <laughs> so, so far behind. Yeah, so you're RIPing to me dying. That's fair. Um, he, she, Patrick, holy shit, it's Patrick Wilson. 
You actually know who Patrick Wilson is? I don't. I just know that he was the guy in Heart Candy now. And also Raul. <laughs> um, but yeah, she fucking tortures him over two hours. Sandra O oh was in that movie, too. I remember that because I was like, hey, I know her. Um, but that's the one where... Uh, the thing I remember most vividly is the part where she tied him down and numbed his genitals and showed him a video of... A video feed, a live video feed of her um, castrating him. And then later, when he was able to get up, she hadn't actually done it. was just a video she was playing. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, Phantom was 2004 and Hard Candy was 2005, which means they saw him in Phantom and were like, sure, yeah. Did we watch Rod Hard Candy and College together? I mean, it sounds like the kind of thing we would do. I didn't watch Insidious either. I'm sorry, honey. So, if you watch Phantom, and you come out of it going, Ugh, Raul. There's a movie where you can see him get his balls chopped off. <laughs> you can just- you can just spend two hours watching Raul being tortured to death. Kind of. Sort of? I don't remember all- I- I don't remember most of what happens in Hard Candy. I just remember that, uh, it's not good for... him. Hmm... Santa water is very funny to me. <clears throat> like, I get a Santa, like, saint, but Santa water. This water, gingerbread. He was also in Little Children after Hard Candy. You've got our movies in a row, buddy. It's the forehead. People looked at his forehead and were like, hmm, I know what this guy should do, casting wise. Sorry, he just has a lot of forehead. I looked him up. Insidious is bad. Oh god, chat war 2 beginning. <laughs> I can't chime in on this one because I never fucking saw Insidious, but you know. Play nice. Oh, you do hate Insidious. Okay, I just assumed you would like it because... Let's be real. <laughs> I've known you. Get the boo back, get the boo back! Son of a bitch. Fucking demon is dancing to tiptoe through the tulips. Well, you know, tulips are scary. Oh, I wanted the garlic! Fuck. I didn't... I wasn't a misclick, there was more of a I didn't, like, think about it click. Mm. Ooh! All weapon effects? Thank you, that sounds good. Love it. I don't remember which one Insidious is, honestly. Is that the one where, like, they find, like, videotapes of the family murdering themselves and then a different f family murders them and then they videotape themselves? I don't know. I read the Wikipedia summaries of horror movies a lot. You have taste when it comes to horror movies. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, how is Demon Under Glass? What were your opinions there, hmm? Actually, I don't think you like Demon Under Glass. I do think that's mainly Sam's fault. God, that movie was a lot. Ah! Demon Under Glass is, is just a fan fiction made into a movie. Um, but it doesn't know that. And also, it's just not very good. Insidious is the more low kid gets kidnapped by a demon. I don't know what that means. I'm thinking of Sinister. Okay. I will... read the Wikipedia summary of it later and then forget it. That's what I do with horror movies. <laughs> I don't know why. I love reading the horror movies of... What's it? Oh, you did love Demon Under Glass. I think it technically is a horror movie. I think the movie about a vampire um, being captured and studied after going on a murder spree. Ooh, chicken! Floor chicken! Um, technically, a, I think it counts as a horror movie. I don't know. 
We can't really classify it as um, homoerotica because they don't. They pretend it's not. Like this vampire's <laughs> this vampire's straight, you guys. He's only killing he's only killing female sex workers. Definitely not super into anybody else. Uh, doesn't have any sort of weird psychosexual issues with the doctor. Nope. Ugh. God. Ah. My leg is asleep. All my legs are asleep all the time. I only have two legs. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, let's level up. Let's level up Santa Water. Insidious the kid can astral project, his soul gets taken by an evil dude in a dress because you know that Haruko and his father has to come and save him. That's Poltergeist. That's what Poltergeist was about. They made that one already. Also, when you say his father has to come save him, does that mean he like fucking astral projects after him? Okay, now I am curious about the mechanics of this shit. Sinister is the one where he finds film in the attic, it shows families being killed, he starts seeing things, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. That one sounded dumb as fuck, but most horror movies do to me. Are slasher films horror movies? Like, no, right? But kind of. That's not what Poltergeist is about, honey. I know Poltergeist is about a kid getting kidnapped by ghosts. At least part of it is. Um, and I know Poltergeist is about, okay, the movie's over. <laughs> Just kidding. Be more scared. Like, Poltergeist has a very weird structure to me. Which I think I'm- pr I, I doubt I'm the first person to make this observation, but... Um, the structure of Poltergeist is really weird, because it's like- it's like it happens, and then it's like over, and then they like go back and do more, and I'm like, what are you do- leave! What are you doing? <laughs> um, Let's level up. Flasher is a horror genre, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Tabitha, did I tell you about uh, My Heart is a Chainsaw? Because you should read My Heart is a Chainsaw. Because I really liked My Heart is a Chainsaw. And everybody should read My Heart is a Chainsaw. I really liked it. It's a good book. I've forgotten the author's name. Fuck. But, I mean, there's not a, books, a lot of books called My Heart is a Chainsaw. So I think you can figure out which one it is. Um... But it's about a, uh, fuck, I forget. Native American girl, I want to say, no, I want to say Lakota, but I don't think it's Lakota. I don't remember what it is, though, and that's, like, the one that's coming to mind? I'd have to double check, I don't fucking know. Anyway, um, she's, lives in a small town, is the goth kid, uh, you know, the weirdo, blah, 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 um, and becomes essentially convinced that there's a slasher movie starting, or slasher cycle beginning, happening in this town, um, and is very psyched about it because, like, she's got problems. <laughs> um, but, like, there's a new girl in school who she's like, this is the final girl uh, for the slasher movie that's happening. And, like, she keeps identifying tropes and shit. Um, but then it's also... It's, like, about... I could write some fucking studies of this book, I feel like. Because it's, it's about more than that. You know? It's about finding identity, it's about parenting, it's about having the right to feel safe in your home, it's about retreating into media, it's about seeking patterns to make sense of things, it's about... It's about a lot. It's about a lot of things. 
and I really liked it. It was really good. Like, I literally finished it and immediately was like, oh my god, this was like a really good book. Which is weird, because I read the- I read another book by that author, and I didn't like it anywhere near as much. I was like, eh, okay. Um, like, I read it, it was fine. I didn't love it. But this one I loved, so. Stephen Graham Jones, thank you for- for looking up the name for me, because I did not remember- I knew it was like three names. Um, but I could not remember what it was. But yeah, I strongly recommend that book. It's a good book. It was, it was, some things about it I found pretty predictable to the point where like a reveal happened. I was like, was it supposed to be like a secret? Was I not supposed to figure this out? But, um, but for the most part, it wasn't, it wasn't about that. So. Good book. I recommend it highly. And I was able to get it on ebook from my local library, which is a good sign for you being able to get it on ebook from your local library. Yeah, The Only Good Indians is the other one I read that I actually didn't like all that much. I just- I felt like I didn't understand it. Um, <gasps> there's a sequel? Fuck, I should read the sequel. Ooh. I'm very curious about the sequel. Oh, I'm getting hurt. Uh, I left a bunch of floor chicken on the floor over here, didn't I? You guys keep my chicken? You guys see my chicken? Where did I, where did I leave my floor chicken? Um, but yeah, I, I just didn't- I felt like the only good Indians was saying something and I didn't understand what. And I mean, I can I can appreciate that that may not have been in fact the point of it. Um, and I'm just I'm looking for meaning when or a certain type of meaning that like it didn't have. And but I don't know. I just I I came out of it being like, what was the point of all that? You know. Oh my god. Oh, that'll be a tractor. It's my best friend. Ooh, bracer, please. Um, zombie bake off. That probably sounds fun. Zombies. But yeah, so I, I was I was surprised by how much I loved my heart was a chain is a chainsaw because I didn't like the only good Indians very much. And it's not like I I, I don't know. I don't wanna say I didn't like it. Like it was fine. I just I felt like I missed the point of it. And so either I didn't get it, or didn't have a point. And it's more likely that I didn't get whatever the point of it was. And that's okay. Um. Ooh, floor chicken. I'm gonna save it for when I get fucking murdered by these birds. What the fuck just happened to me? Oh my god, please let me get this floor chicken. No, the floor chicken! No! Damn it! My floor chicken! <laughs> no! His cupboards give me fuzzy, warm, nostalgic feelings. Why? How did I only get 195 coins out of that? God damn it, Vampire Survivors. Uh... Shit, let's be Arca again. I don't know. Um, 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 um. Ooh, am I dropping a buttload of frames again? How long has that been happening? You need to tell me when these things happen, you know. I'm not always paying attention. Sometimes I'm trying very hard to get my floor chicken. I'm gonna give the vampire garlic because it's funny to me. But yeah, the cover of my heart is a chainsaw is just like a tear in a book. Oh, that was hard in our way. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. Wah, wah, wah. Mm, X. Mm, okay. His his covers are very stylized, old school horror star horror, horror story covers. Kill, axe, 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 aha, axe that blue bat, axe him a question. 
The question is, are you gonna die or what? Oh god, I let it get too close. Mmm, tasty. Let's do... armor. Um, but yeah, I've been trying- I've been trying to read more books. Um, and I'm kind of distressed by how often I read a book that's like popular and well acclaimed and I just like come at him like, that book sucked. Like, I'm honestly a little bit concerned <laughs> about, um, how often I'm just like, hmm, this book was like a New York Times bestseller for a month and Obama's favorite book of the year and I hate it. Sucks. Get the swarm. Yes, yes, the swarm. I love how the swarm goes. If you get garlic, the swarm goes from a horrible threat to a fucking XP generator. <laughs> Here at the introduction of a newer edition of Burnt Offerings. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to assume some kind of horror novel. I had to guess. Mm, let's do the Bible. All right, things are dying down. Let's explore. Let's let's venture eastward. Sometimes it takes me a second to remember which direction is east. My best. Are you trying to listen to those? Recommendations. After my best friend's exorcism and the dog death, you'll never trust again. My best friend's exorcism is a book, I assume. Um, what else did I read? I read... Uh, Final Girl Support Group, and that was fine. I think that was recommended to me, like... As a, like, because you liked my heart as a chainsaw, you might like. Um, and it was fine. Oh god, skeletons. He killed the dog! I'm sorry he killed the dog, honey. Big fat stupid dog. Aww. Yeah, killing the dog or killing whatever innocent animal is around in a horror or slasher or whatever uh, tends to give me a... I feel like it's a very big clue as to what the message is, what the goal is. Because if, you're, if your monster or your killer or whatever it is kills humans but like not... Oh, same dude as my best friend's extra, oh, that's funny. Um, kills, you know, kills the humans but leaves the dogs alone, then it's got reason. You know? It's it's doing things on purpose, with intent. Um, because it's looking at a dog and going, no, this thing does not deserve to die. And to me, that winds up being a lot more potentially meaningful than a fully mindless killer. I'm gonna buy me a copy- you're gonna buy me a copy of The Barbarian You Pleasure Yourself with a Unicorn Horn book. Good book for your soul. Thank you. I like the way that you phrase that because it makes it sound like the title of the book is The Barbarian Who Pleasures Himself with a Unicorn Horn. <laughs> Which would be a fun, fun title for a book. <laughs> you know, hungry, hungry caterpillar, barbarian who pleasures himself with a unicorn horn. These kind of book genres. Um. But yeah, if, if, you're, if your bad guy kills the dog, the cat, the random animal, it's animal itself, which is a very different uh, feel than something with intention that would kill people on purpose because they deserve it. Or quote unquote deserve it. A lot of drama around the newest Halloween movie because he doesn't kill a baby. 
Halloween is the babysitter one. Where... Yeah, I mean, I didn't see it, but um, I'm just trying to... Like, I, I haven't seen Halloween. But I've read the Wikipedia summary. Um, so I could surmise from there about characterization. But it's, it's, a, it's a really big characterization thing for the... Bad guy, quote-unquote. Um, like... Um, I don't know, but I, I don't... <sighs> I'd have to think more about Halloween because I don't remember. That's it. You got it. I got it. Uh, it's just babysitter murder. I don't remember why he's murdering the babysitter in Halloween. Ugh, like what his deal is. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Those are the noises of me adjusting myself because my butt's asleep. No, I know it's Michael. I just don't remember why he, why he's, why he's doing it. Um. Like, it's like a misplaced revenge for something that happened to him, right? I forget. Um, but the... Ah, oh, excuse me, he should have killed the baby. Okay, I'm glad we know where you stand on baby murder. I'm pro-choice on baby murder. Oh, the plot is he's crazy, that's it. Okay, so he doesn't have, like, a reason reason, he's just... Depends on which movie you watch. Okay. You know what? When you phrase it like that, I fully understand why the the baby murder... There's a point where he does it all because of a cult. Like, if he's inherently evil... Ew. If he's inherently evil, yes, he should kill the baby. Uh, if, if all he is there for is kill everything. Do murder. Then yeah, he should have killed the baby. And not killing the baby is probably out of character. If he doesn't kill a baby, it implies some deeper level of motive. Because if he's just killing everybody, but he doesn't kill a baby, why did he not kill that baby? You know? So I can see how killing or not killing a baby could be a big character moment for my- <laughs> Sorry, I just heard what I was fucking saying. <laughs> Oh, anyway, um... He's entire- Okay, so yeah, if he's entirely evil and not human anymore, then unless you give me a solid reason why he did not murder that baby, I'm gonna be like, why didn't he murder that baby? And my thought is going to be because the- because they were too cowardly to, uh, show a baby murder. In which case, I shouldn't have had the baby on screen at all. You know? Like, if you're gonna have the baby, if you're gonna make a baby on screen, you should kill the baby. If you're not gonna kill the baby, don't have the baby on screen. They said that we killed them all, so we should have killed the baby. Yeah, that's my opinion. I haven't seen the movie, but based on the description you're giving me, I feel like you should have killed the baby. And unless you tell me a good in canon reason why he didn't, I'm gonna assume it's because the producers are a bunch of cowards. Afraid to show one tiny little baby murder. Those bastards arrived with scared, locked him in a scary asylum after he did a murder as a kid and also pure evil. Yeah, that is less, um... I mean, I get how... Killer without a motive beyond pure evil can be scary. Um... On a visceral level of, oh my god, it's going to kill me and I can't reason with it. But also, like, I don't know. It's not. It's not as as. Ah, oh, oh, I'm dying. I'm good. Um, it's not as fun to me as a killer with a motive. Oh, swarm! Thank you for all this experience. Uh, sure, wish I could find a floor, floor chicken. Um. See, cause the- ah, oh, fuck, I died. Damn it. The swarm pushed something into me. 
Um, because, uh, which character should I play as? Let's do... Michael work better as a one-off. Yeah. Isn't Halloween... Yeah, Halloween was the one where we're supposed to be a one-off. Right? Um, let's be Antonio. And the second one is some weird shit about masks. And then they went back to Michael because the second one didn't do good. Miss Craven was more tongue in cheek about things with Freddy. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, Freddy's deal is just funny in a way. Poor chicken! Poor chicken abandoned me. Alas, poor, poor chicken, we knew ye. Um, the other, I, I keep trying to say this sentence and then I keep getting distracted by something like running out of floor chicken. Um, the other one, like, if Jason killed a baby, that would be out of character. Jason, I don't think, would kill a random baby. Because Jason Steele, originally at least, I don't fucking know about sequels and shit, um, was revenge on the camp counselors for letting Jason die. And I know, it's not actually Jason. I, I know, I know, it's fine, don't worry about it. So, at least originally, um, that was, like, his, his deal. So, if Jason killed a baby, that would be really weird, because, like, what, why, what did the baby do? Hold on, that's not who you're mad at, you're mad at the camp counselors. Why would you kill this baby? So it's not like every slasher would kill a baby, and that is the difference between them as characters. And if you're just gonna have... I don't know, you gotta differentiate. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to be a series of unrelated Halloween movies, but people liked Michael and blah. Uh, you don't like Michael. Of the slashers, Freddy's probably your favorite, though Pinhead is usually included in that group. Is Pinhead a slasher? Okay, I haven't actually seen... Oh, fuck. Hell... Late. Hell... Breaker? Hell... Hell... I hate that I can't remember the name of the fucking movie with the box and the Cenobites. I know they're called Cenobites, but I don't know what the movie was called. Hellraiser? Hellraiser, maybe. Uh... OMG, we have to watch Jason X. It's amazing. Okay. Now, would it be better or worse for me to watch it having literally never seen any Jason movies? <laughs> Holy goofs on only kill tweens. Teen just screaming out sex. The morality store. It's a morality play, baby. Hellraiser is not a slasher. Okay, I didn't think so. Like, I know that the Cenobites are... I wouldn't consider Hellraiser a slasher, but it's a cult horror film from a similar time period. Yeah, I didn't think it was a slasher. I just... I... They got more slashery. Yeah, alright, fair enough, fair enough. Gets lumped in. Um... I like the Cabin in the Woods gave a clear breakdown of the slasher formula in a way that is like, oh, okay, cool. I see this as a study guide to slasher movies. Um, it was fine. <laughs> Aside from that, it was it was amusing in a Joss Whedon way. You know, if you're done with Joss Whedon, you're not gonna like it, but yeah, it depends on where you are with Joss Whedon. It's an X, Leprechaun 4, Hellraiser Bloodlines. Why are you watching all these movies on purpose? I've never seen any Jason movie but the fourth one. I know he takes Manhattan. He goes to space. And meets Predator? No. Who meets Predator? At some point, there's an intersection between the Slasher verse and Alien and Predator, right? Or am I imagining that? Ah, ah! Oh, that was close. Hoo -hoo. Almost got chased into a tree by a bunch of skeletons. Didn't Michael go to space as well? I could be thinking of Michael. 
but it would make sense. That's the kind of thing everybody would do if they could, you know? Fuck it! Send him to space! Let's make a horror movie in space! They already did that. Let's make more of them, but they're not gonna be as good. Okay. Aliens versus Predator. What about Aliens vs. Predator? I mean, I know- yes, I know Aliens fought Predator. Um, there was crossover in the comics. Okay. Like, I know there was Alien vs. Predator, and I know Jason and Freddy and... I think Michael Myers teamed up at various points during movies, and or fought each other, who the fuck knows. Um, but I just didn't know whether they had intersected with the- Oh, Floor Chicken! Aliens and or Predators. At some point in their careers. Ow! Let's do Bracer! All speed up. Ah, fuck. It's a wall of plants again. Damn you, wall of plants. You can be a huge problem for me! So could you not actually the stone? Ash fought. Ash from Alien, uh, from Evil Dead, Pop Predator. I mean, that sounds that sounds like the kind of thing they'd pull, yeah. Trying to, like, scrape these plants with the garlic. Um. Part of the problem with franchising any horror movie is that familiarity by its nature, destroys the horror of it. Like, the more you understand something, the less scary it is. Um, and that's, I mean, that's just, that's how it works. Because if you see, you see the guy once, ah, but if you see him 12 times, okay, so he does this and this and this, and now I know his patterns. And once I know his patterns, really not that scary to face him, because I just do what his patterns do. Um, so you've gotta, like, up the stakes somehow? And I don't- it's, I don't know how you do that. We should watch the Evil Dead musical. Okay. Sure. Um, I watched one- I watched the one where he goes to the past, which I think is three. It might be two. Uh, at some point, but I don't really remember it. I think it's three. I think- No, I don't fucking know. I don't know shit. Um. But yeah, I think that's why horror movie- Franchises very rarely are any fucking good beyond like the first one. Um, I think I've heard the purges were good. Well, some of the purges were good and better than the first one, but I think that's like the only one I can think of. Um, I think people liked the Paranormal Activity series. But I think that one had a variety of ghosts, so it would make sense. I say ghosts, I don't know if they're ghosts or if they're something else, I don't give a fuck either. Um, for that one to be a little more enduring, a little more variety. Army of Darkness, yes, that's the Evil Dead I saw. I do not remember if I liked it. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Whee! I did not die. You have BTS theme pin that's Army of Darkness themed. Which one cut off his fucking hand or replaced with a chainsaw, huh? Just, <laughs> now I'm just thinking about tremors and how um I don't remember if it was like by the third movie, or by the time the TV, TV show came out, or whatever, but they just had, like, fucking graboid removal services. <laughs> like, they're just like, oh, there's a graboid, alright, let's, let's do our tools that we've developed, because we understand their weaknesses, because we've fought them so many times at this point. He hated paranormal activity, this does not surprise me. Um, let's increase the damage on the fire wand, why not? I would love some floor chicken right about now. Um, but like, yeah, by the time they got to Tremors 
something. Uh, past, past the first one and past the first couple, I think. Uh, they had, like, a race car with some dynamite on it, and they would just send that out, and then the Graboid would eat it, and then they would explode it, and then the Graboid died, and then they left. The end. Graboid problem defeated. Tremors actually scared you as a kid? I don't know... <sighs> Tremors was a movie series that I saw on Sci-Fi Channel. <laughs> so I don't know how many of them I saw, which ones of them I saw, or remember my opinions on them. <laughs> I just very distinctly remember the scene where they have the car and they put the bomb on it and they send it out and the Graboid eats it and it's just like, wow, they just, they got efficient. They just did that shit. Um, or, uh, there was an anime called Shiki. Uh, is it Shiki? Yeah, it's just Shiki. Which is about vampires in a, like, mine, uh, farming town in rural Japan, I think the past. Not, like, too far in the past? I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's vampires and they're developing slowly, as vampires do. And then at the end, the farmers finally realize that their town is full of vampires. And they just go about the most systematic vampire slaughter. And it's just... Really good, honestly. <laughs> like, you're supposed to be all like, oh no, this is indiscriminate slaughter, it's bad. But, I don't know, I did not- It did not succeed at making me feel too sympathetic for these vampires. It kept trying to, and I'm like, Mmm, cool mode of still murder. But, oh no, no! Oh, oh, fucking hell. Oh, I need floor chicken so bad, please, God. Um, but there was just a scene where the farmers were like, oh, well, okay, we're going to destroy vampires with our farmer efficiency. And they just do, and it's great. They just, like, organize, they got their hose, they build a mass grave. I think they steamroller uh, one bitch with pink hair who's really annoying. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 what the- ah! Damn it, I melted. I used to be terrified of getting eaten by a graboid in the middle of the night while going to the bathroom. Well, you just gotta walk without rhythm and you won't attract the worm. I've unlocked a new character. Have I unlocked any power-ups? No. Not for 400. <sighs> also, I have to buy a cleric eye, which is annoying to me. That it's like you've unlocked a new character, but you still have to buy them with coins. Okay. Then why did I unlock them? I didn't unlock them then, did I? No. No, I didn't. Um. But yeah, rock with, walk without rhythm and you won't attract the worm. Works for. Actually, it doesn't work for graboids, does it? Because they can, like, sense heartbeats. Right? Like, you can be standing perfectly still, but your body functions and exists, and therefore the Graboids can detect you. Right? Am I wrong? Am I right? I don't fucking know. I do know that Walk Without Rhythm and You Won't Attract the Worm is a Dune thing, but, uh, eh, close enough. You know? Walk Without Rhythm and You Won't Attract the Worm. If you walk without rhythm, you never learn. You can go with this, or you can go with that. You can go with that. My mom really shouldn't have let me watch half of what I did as a kid. Um, my parents would let me read pretty much anything, but they're good about not letting me watch things. I remember when Jurassic Park came out, um, they rented it, and I was allowed to watch up until the dinosaurs showed up. And then I had to go to bed. <laughs> so I got to see the dinosaurs. And I was like, cool! Like when they crest the bri the the ridge and the dinosaurs are there and it's awesome. Like you see the the herd of brontosauri or whatever. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head whether I got to stick around uh, until the end of the scene with the triceratops or not. But um, yeah, so I, I did not get to see the horrifying parts of the the movie, which is probably for the best. Ah, oh, shit. Why did I do that? Woo! I'm good. I'm good. Um. But they only ever stopped me from reading one book. And, frankly, they should have stopped me from reading a few more. <laughs> like, I had unfettered access to any of the books we owned. But we owned a lot of, like, Stephen King and shit. Although, I... Yeah, mm. I can agree with letting let your kid read whatever. 
uh, to be honest. There wasn't much that was... Ooh, yes, do the whip, because that gets me too. Threaten back. Um, too horrifying. There was one that was very confusing, and it still confuses me. The one about the albino radio DJ and the test monkeys. That was about... It was a radio DJ, and he wasn't actually just albino, but he had like a skin condition that made him very, 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 very sensitive to sunlight. Uh, so he could not go outside during the day, which is not a thing that albino people have. Albino people, as far as I know, are able to step into the sun. Um, but so he could only go out at night, and then weird shit started happening, and he examined it. Uh, he had a dog. Don't remember if the dog lives or died or anything about it. I just remember there was a dog. Ooh, more garlic, please. Thank you. What book did they stop me from reading? Stephen King's The Dark Half. The Dark Half by Stephen King. They saw me reading that one. They were like, mm, maybe not, honey. I don't. I don't know how old I was at the time, uh, but I was too young to be reading Stephen King. That is, that is true, for sure. Oh, excuse me. I don't really remember anything about the dark half, except that it opens with, like, the dude getting brain surgery to remove a tumor, and it's not a tumor. It's teeth. Uh, because he fucking ate his twin in the womb or whatever. And then I guess he does murders, or he thinks he does murders. I don't remember the plot of it. I don't think it's important. <laughs> I don't think I need to know the plot of the dark half. I think I'm probably fine where I am in my life. Vis-a-vis -vis knowing the plot of the dark half. Ah, uh, this is dangerous. I should not be doing this. But it's so satisfying. Mmm. Yes. I have so much garlic. You cannot get to me. Because of this garlic. Mmm, tasty. I have to watch out for that bat. Also, watch out for when they start getting a little bit strong. Oh, here come ghosts. I should get moving. Oh god! Oh god, they got through my garlic! No! Who could have seen this coming? Me, I could have seen this coming. And I did see this coming! Did I stop any? Did I stop it? No! Why? Cause I'm dumb. Treasure found! Open. It doesn't even sound like one of King's really bad ones. I mean, I don't remember too much directly. Mm. Sorry, I'm responding to a message I should have responded to in the past. I should. Huh. Okay. Apparently my girlfriend's licking my laundry. Really should have had my fucking notice on. In order to... Prevent this? I don't know if I could have prevented it. Um, the girlfriend has borrowed my car for, uh, there's a whole adventure happening. And I have a lot of clothes in my car because 
of how I live my life. Um, so she's gonna just borrow some because she doesn't have clothes with where she is and she's crashing there, so. Which is fine. Um, it's just very funny. <laughs> but, like, a solid 25% of my wardrobe probably is in my car right now. Um, and has been for mm, six months. But in my defense, there's also been a fucking outboard motor in my car, which has made it difficult to. Mmm, floor chicken. Oh shit, everybody's frozen! Yes, yes, die! Die, motherfuckers! Aha! Aha! Where's the mantis? Where's the mantis? Where's the mantis? Fuck, I wanted to get the mantis. I did not get the mantis. Um. What the hell was I saying? Oh, sorry, Tilly. Uh, licking my laundry. Yeah, I just I went uh, just went and checked my Discord notifications and I got added like half an hour ago <laughs> with she's licking your laundry and I'm like hmm I wonder what the fuck that's about huh so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah I'm very kind and generous so I'm letting her borrow my car and. Stuff because her car is uh damaged. We're gonna cost a lot to repair. We're all just going to ignore that fact, frankly. But she's had a very busy couple days. And yesterday I drove around with her a lot to drive her from place to place. Um, but today she just did it herself because, um, well, frankly, it didn't seem like she was gonna get anywhere. There was a incident. I can tell you, if you remind me, I'll tell you offline about, um, the motor <laughs> and the problem. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yesterday sucked. Uh, <laughs> it was fun for a chunk and then it wasn't fun anymore. <laughs> cool boy. That's okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, give me everything. Oh my god, there's so many zombies there. Holy shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, I need some new- I need more weapons. Holy fuck, I'm only just realizing that all I have is whip, wand, and garlic. I need more stuff. Quite badly. Bible! Bible sounds great! I would love a Bible, thank you. Oh god, don't push them at me! Oh, the swarm. The swarm does that. It's a problem. The swarm by itself? Fine. The swarm pushing zombies at me? Not so good. No! Peace! I cannot kill them in time. You I can kill in time. You I don't mind. <sighs> but yeah, what was weird was I saw the notification and I thought it was about my cat. Which is extra weird because my cat is right here. And also the person who pinged me. Am I still sleeping? Son of a bitch. Why am I still sleeping? Hello, I'm back. VTube Studio. Hold on, Tilly's sitting on my mouse. Oh god, Tilly, you're so cute. VTube Studio, do you think I'm asleep still? Why do you think I'm asleep still? Hmm? Hmm? VTube Studio? Eh? Eh? What is your problem? Ni? Nani? Nani this car, motherfucker. Uh, hold on. USB turned on. Okay, good. Did not fuck up. USB turned on. Click the button. I awaken! I rise! Hmm. So how's the lag situation, by the way? Is it- is it... horrible still? I'm awake again. Um... Is it- is it really, really bad? Is it just bad? I- I want to know objectively. Um, where are the stats? Here's the stats. Uh, cause it seems like it's dropping... I 
think it says, I don't know, I can't tell if it's dropping, it is dropping frames. I think it's dropping frames. So if the lag is like unplayably bad, um, let me know. Because even though I can talk during this game a lot, it turns out I have to look at it a lot more than I would. Like I'm paying more attention to it even though I'm talking. Um, but I, I just, I don't know whether this is a viable network solution. So if this stream is fucking painful to watch, then it's not. <laughs> I need to know that so I don't do it again. I don't know if I believe you. Whatever, I'm gonna keep playing the game. Alright. Somewhat better. Alright. Well, I have some other things I can try vis-a-vis -vis network streaming. Oh, Tilly's awake. She's gonna get mad at me soon. I'm probably gonna have to wrap up soon because she's gonna start killing me because it's time for bed. Um... Oh, she does a big stretch. God, I love this cat. She's so cute. She's wagging her tail. Oh, God, zombies. Whee. She thump her tail. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm trying to come up with a with a internet solution that is not dependent on we my girlfriend's phone being nearby. So that she's allowed to take her phone with her to things. Um, and it's it's it's. Ooh, ah. um, the question and/or problem is two-tiered. Ah, uh, floor chicken. Hell yes. Wait, I don't need floor chicken right now, actually. Um, which is a if I'm streaming through. X. Yes. If I'm th streaming through the hotspot, you know, how high can my network get? And then. Second question is uh, whether the thing I will done, well, I've done, will um, big stretches for tiny kitty. She loves, she does love to do a big stretch. Oh god, I want that treasure chest. Oh fuck, get away from it! I want it. Everybody, come over here. Away from the treasure chest. That's right. Good zombies and shit. And then we do a big loop around. Big loop. Big loop. Floor chicken over here. In case I need it. Try not to get it before I need it. There's a shush 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 shush. Ha ha! I outwitted them. They thought they could get me, but they could not. They could not get me. Axe level up. Two axe or, or stronger axe. Two axe. Double the axe. More acts in a high school locker room. Oh, I got hurt. I should go back and get that floor chicken. Assuming I survive the next minute, because I'm trapped in here and there's a lot of bats there, oh boy. That sure is a lot of fucking bats. And they sure are coming for me. <laughs> Here, flowers. Oh god, stop. Ah! Aha! Made it out of the flower wall. Oh, they're gonna push the flowers towards me. That's, that's fabulous. Uh, where's the floor chicken? I think it was up. I think it was up from where I was. Boy, I sure would love to find the floor chicken! Yes! Oh. So good at this game, you guys. Actually, I'm actually really good at this game. I do think this is my... Oh! That's a lot of skeletons, isn't it? Oh my god, holy shit! Oh fuck, oh fucking hell. Dear god. Ugh, get out! Oh my god. Oh no, oh no, oh god, oh fuck, oh Jesus Christ. Superstar. Mmm, yeah, one more projectile I think sounds good right now. <laughs> Holy shit, there's so many skeletons on the screen! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! How are there so many of them? Why? Oh, fuck me! Oh, shit! Oh my god, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! 
Ah! 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 Yeah, armor sounds good, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. This is fine. This is fine. This is normal, and I'm reacting normally to it. Successfully evading the worst of the skeletons. Definitely uh, alive. And are those werewolves? Those are werewolves now. That's fine. I'm not afraid of them. The swarm is pushing things towards me again. Hey, swarm, could you stop? It's really rude. All right. All right. We're going to go on a little walksies now because I keep meaning to and then I get distracted by my uh, desperate need to get more gems. More experience points. Uh, gotta pick those bitches up. And I would love to see whether there's anything interesting in the out edges of this map. I would love to not loop back around to that mass of skeletons. Lord! Oh my god, that was so many ghosts! I only got 11 coins out of all that. The fuck's like. Okay, maybe I got more than 11. Alright, we can unlock Cleric Eye or Gennaro. Hmm. I'm gonna start with Cleric Eye. Swore Cleric Eye. Oh, what was that? I don't know, Tilly. Are you falling over? you get your finger stuck? You're dumb. You're stupid. I love you so much. Okay. Wow, that's a big-ass area, sure, cleric guy. Yes. Yes, bats, come at me. Ha-ha! <laughs> Oof. Um, let's do King Bible. Hmm. Whoa, it's so big! Big ass Bible. It goes really far away from me, though. Huh. Interesting. I can see this is both a good and a bad thing. Because it's much harder to aim at such a distance. But I'll be able to hit things from far away. That's all right. That's Let's continue, uh, modus operandi. Don't touch me. But, like, long distance. Okay. I mean, the early stages are a little boring for the first couple minutes. It's very, like, just eh, walk around kind of slowly while enemies very slowly approach you. But it does ramp up, as you have seen. Um, 13 minutes was my, definitely my longest one so far. Woo -woo -woo. <sighs> Ugh, I'm getting sleepy. I'll wrap up soon. But first, I'm gonna survive some more vampires. Vampire survive. Ah, bats! Oh god! Oh, I had nothing to defend me against those bats. Oh no. Oh no, the swarm. Wait, why did my Bible get so small? What happened? Ah, no! No, seriously, what happened? Why did all my shit get smaller? What, ha what happened? Are they only boosted on, like, level one? And by level one, they stop being boosted or something? Because that would be fucking annoying. I'll have to double check again when I get back out to the menu, see what it said.
Stop hitting me! You're bats! I'm a person. My life is inherently more valuable than yours. Bible said so. Oh god! I'm always tired, so it's nothing new. It's not like I'm, well, I'm tired. I love a tired lifestyle. So to keep track of your longest time and stuff? I assume so. There's gotta be some- somewhere it's got that. Um, I will say, this game is in... Uh, I mean, the Game Pass calls it Game Preview, but Early Access or whatever kind of, you know, shit. So, possible it might not. It's also possible they're gonna add shit later. Um, it's also possible they don't add shit later, and it's just like, that's forever. But, you know, whatever. Um, but I- it's gotta keep track of your longest time somewhere. I don't know where. It would make sense to have, like, under where you select the character to be like, longest time with, and then have their time be there, or longest survival or whatever. Ooh, move faster, yes. We're going on an exploration journey this time. I'm not looping around as much. Think. I'm trying not to loop around as much. I'm trying to see what else there is to see on this map. If there is other stuff to see on this map. Ah, fuck. These bitches. The plants! Okay, this loadout is not good. <laughs> Actually. Boy howdy, I sure wish I had weapons that aimed at anything. Oh god. It's fine, the plants will dissolve. Don't kill me! Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. That made me feel good. There we go. I can't loop around one more time. Maybe get the mantis and the blue bat to fucking croak. And then once they're done, I'll keep... I'll resume Operation Operandi. South and east and east and south. There we go, the bat left me a treasure chest. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ah, another level of Bible. My Bible has leveled up. Now I get two Bible. Alright, so I'll kill the mantis and then I'm gonna keep going. If I can kill the mantis. Surely, at some point, I'll kill the mantis. Mmm. Ooh. Fuck, I mean, I know Bracer is tempting, but I gotta have- I gotta have something. I gotta have something that can aim. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I have no things that can aim at things on purpose. I have everything be, like, Almost completely random, except for this bird, but I don't fully understand the mechanics of this bird. And how it bombards in a circle, I get that, but like, look where the circle is versus where the things are hitting, you know? Like, how am I supposed to figure out where in the circle it is? God, the mantis is still in there. I'd really like for it to die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this is personal. Oh god, the bats. Oh god, the bats. The swarm. No! No! 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh fucking hell. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was that was bad. Okay. Okay, that was bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. Ah, fuck. No. No. No, no, no. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I should not have done that! Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I am okay. Alright, I'm gonna do one quick loop back to see whether that spot where I was circling for a while has a bunch of gems for me to grab. And then I'm gonna resume Project Operandi. Modus Operandi. Operandus Operandi. What is the word I'm looking for here? Mission Operandi? No. I know Operandi is part of it. Alright, I don't see like a giant puddle of gems, so we're just gonna keep moving. Modus Operandi? Is that what I'm looking for? In terms of pronunciation of words? What? Bats. I have nothing to defend me against the swarm. I miss garlic. I wish I had garlic. Oh, uh, the garlic defends me against the swarm. I love garlic. Please come back to me, garlic. There's so many bats. Garlic, come back! Oh, I died. Dun 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 dun. Boo! Boo! So you can see it does. It keeps track of level two, level two, level one, level one. Damn, I didn't level up shit. Level nine total. Damn, I didn't re level up shit. Ugh. I got a variety of things, but I did not do good on that. Um. Mad Forest normal gold times one. Yeah, I mean, I assume that somewhere it's keeping track of. Um, the longest. Oh, there's bosses. Oh, God. Hyper mode, huh? Hmm. The bone zone, hmm? Evolve? Oh, these unlocks are very interesting to me. Um, collection shows all the things I've picked up. Options it has a visible joystick. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So it doesn't look like it's oh, excuse me displayed anywhere. But that's the kind of thing where I imagine they're gonna have to they're gonna implement it at some point if they don't have it. You know, like you're gonna make a game like this. It's like a how long can you survive game? Have to be able to tell the people how long they survived, or else they're not gonna fucking know. How long they survived their game. You know, you know what I'm saying. Riding my feet. You really ought to see it. Six feet two in a compact. No slack, but the beats go back. Red, red wine. Um, oh, start with temporary area bonus. Okay, so it does wear off after a little bit. Area plus 400, but only temporarily. Holy shit, they have stats! Oh, I'm dumb as fuck! Oh... Guys, I'm stupid! They have different stats! This guy, for example, has move speed plus 5 and might plus 6, versus this one has move speed plus 5 and might 15. This one has armor plus 1, this one doesn't have that! So he's, he's, he's the same speed, but he's mightier versus he's got more health and more armor. Oh, I'm dumb! You guys! You guys, it turns out I'm stupid! And I don't read video game screens. Ugh! Okay. That's fine. So... I'm gonna wrap up, I think, um, because I'm tired, and... That's, that's all I have for you. Um... Hmm... Uh, let's see. I don't think anyone I actually know is streaming at the moment. 
Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, um, how much TikTok? You're a TikTok. Uh, uh, how do I pick a channel if I don't know anyone who's on to, to raid my three viewers? Hmm. Mm. I really don't know. There's gotta be more people I know on than this. Come on, that can't be it. Uh, it might be. Um. In which case, I guess I ought to have come up with something else to do. Oh wait, are you streaming? Kjo's live. All right, we'll 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 uh we'll raid Kjo. I don't know why they're not showing up in the fucking raid thing, but whatever. Yeah, they're right there. Why were you not? Okay, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go raid Keijo Ko, who is playing Minecraft. Um, that's it. So, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. You're all my special little special specials. There, I fucking said it. Um, I hope that my network wasn't too unbearable. I, I would love it if it was good enough for this to be a long-term solution, but I don't think it was, so... Uh, at least thank you for sticking with me through the experiment, and um, have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. The raid doesn't happen yet. I have to click a button in a second, and then we'll raid in now. Go! Cha! Raided. And then I stop streaming myself. <laughs>